Hey, what's up? It's Chuba from the North Carolina. Hi, I'm Javon Holland. We're on set filming a documentary for Under Under. Run it back, run it back. We just finished filming for Uninterrupted Canada. The NFL Network. Wait, wait. Oh no, I got put him on the spot. We're officially behind the scenes, people. Thoughts on having a documentary on you? I was in the Uber or whatever, and the Uber was like, oh, what are you doing over here? And I'm like, oh, I'm filming a documentary. <laughs> and and I, I ain't never been able to say that before. I think it's something that I'm gonna look back on and be able to show my kids, like, yo, this was me when I was, when I had hair type thing. How you doing, brother? Good, you? <laughs> my G, how you doing? I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the, of, of the crib. Avicii, that's a DJ, right? Avicii? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, I think he DJed here. It's a two-story club they got in here. They got a little Buddha statue made out of gold. Shout out to the guy that owns this place. He did an amazing job. This is amazing. You know, the fact to be filming a documentary with two fellow Canadians, Javon and Chase, you know, is obviously crazy. You know, to be with these boys in Miami, it's, it's been fun. All right, let's hop on right here. Hold on now, hold on now. Ooh. Whoa, now. <laughs> So Chase and Chuba, those are great guys, high quality personalities. You know, I love being able to just, you know, chop it up with them. We know a lot about the states before we even go there. And people know nothing, nothing. about Canada. They're so like, like, oh, I know Alaska, is that Canada? They're like, you got, uh, you got, you got polar bears up there? I'm like, yeah. bro, like this. Um, I mean, that's my first time really meeting Chase and stuff, and he a cool dude. I took my shoes off and when I was uh, meeting with my now agent, um, and he was like astounded. He was like, no one has ever, ever done that. Hey, look, but bro, I just I to to someone every time I go to my house, I take my shoes off. That's yeah. just like, I don't want to, I don't want to bring the dirt in from the outside. So next section we go and do tennis court. We'll have to get a match in first like three or something. Yeah, Dabble. Sure. If I can. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. If I can manage. Yup. Yeah. Well, I kind of like tennis. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of fun. We have a little king in the court. When it goes on. Yeah, well, right, yeah. You two for. Oh, we got the shades on. I didn't think I was gonna be that good at tennis. I don't know if y'all got that, but I was actually pretty good. You would say he's better than that guy. He's not better. Than I'm the elite player. You can just tell I was dominating the whole court. Hey, that's a good little rally there. Hello, well done. Hey, best of luck to you. <laughs> I feel like I know that kid. Hey, is your name Nico? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Are aliens real? 100%. Absolutely. Are aliens real? 1000%. Absolutely. Would you rather live in a closet full of spiders or a mansion filled with ghosts? Mansion filled with ghosts. Mansion filled with ghosts. I feel like the ghosts are yeah, personable. Like, yeah, you can. You might be able to chat with them. Yeah, chop it learn up. about them. So they gonna come at night time Sp though. Spiders, spiders gonna be there all day. Yep. Top three things you bring during the zombie apocalypse. Um, that's a good question. I'm going with a katana, walkie talkies, and then a solar powered radio. Damn, they got the. He got the. He had that on point. It was, there was such like a natural chemistry between the three of you guys. So speak to that, that brotherhood fraternity. How important is that? I mean, anytime I see, you know, a fellow Canadian brother or, you know, sister, anybody, you know, doing big things, I'm always going to be supporting them. We're all trying to get there together, you know, for the young people after us and the young people after them. I mean, I would like to do that with more Canadians if possible. I was saying, shoot, we might do a part two to this with next year's Canadians or something. I don't know. That'd be a good thing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs>